From Television City in Hollywood, it's America's most popular show. The famous wheel is spinning your way with lots of cash and an assortment of fabulous and exciting prizes. Over $130,000 just waiting to be won today on Wheel of Fortune. And now here's your host, Vanna White. As you can all tell by that intro, I'm doing a bonus segment for my birthday special for Matt, and it's Wheel of Fortune for the Sega CD. Now, I have three guests with me, Aubrey S1987, Hello. Wahama number one fan, What's up? and of course we have Matt himself. Now this is going to be a solo game of Wheel of Fortune for the Sega CD, but here's a little twist. Instead of me playing the game, Matt's going to be playing. How about that? Alright. So, Matt, we'll see how much you can get. $1,000 top value for our first round. We are playing for cash, and our first puzzle is a phrase. And let's see, eight letters. There we go, the puzzles are being typed in for Matt so that he can guess them. And here's another little element I'm going to add in. If Matt is able to land on the free spin space, he'll get $10,000. But if he's able to pick it up, 25000 And Matt, your first spin is 500. Okay, how about a T? There are no, no, there's no T, but, but Matt, lucky for you, this is a solo game, so we don't have to worry about any other opponents. And I assume you will want to spin again? Yeah. Alrighty. Now, obviously, whatever's accumulated in this game will be going to Matt's score. Let's see if I can get that thousand. Oh, this looks... No, not quite. It's another 500. Is there an R? No, there's no R. Well, it's not a cheat puzzle or anything. It's not like one of those cheap three or four letter puzzles. But in any case, Matt, you want to spin again? Yeah, that's what I gotta do. I can't even solve it. <laughs> I'd have to be a real genius to be able to solve something like that. Well, I'll tell that to Caitlin Burke. She solved it with one letter once. Yeah. Anyway, 200. Well, that's cheap. L. There is one Why are you going to get one L? So that gets you on the board with 200, but it's not enough for a vowel, so you're going to have to spin the wheel again. Alrighty. Oh, this is... Yeah, we made it out of there. Three fifty. dollars Alright, three fifty, Matt. And in. There is one... One N. So you're at 450. Now you can buy a vowel. I'm going to spin it still. Good job. Alrighty. 
And uh, small correction to what I said, it's actually 550 that you have now. So I'll spin it again. Yep. Oh, and they landed on the free spin. Okay. So that means we're going to add $10,000 to your score at the end of the game. But let's see if you can pick it up. Okay, how about an S? Well, Matt, this will make you happy. You're going to get five S's. And because you're able to pick up that free spin, that means you get another $25,000. Uh, could you learn a second phone? Oh, okay. Okay, I'm back, guys. Alright. Well, Matt, the S's are in there. And you have 550 and that free spin. What do you want to do? Uh, you know what? I actually want to solve the puzzle. Well, go ahead. As soon as possible. That's it. A $550 start from that. I know it's not very much, but at least it's something. And plus, we're also going to add $35,000 in bonus money at the end of the game. $10,000 because Matt landed on the free spin. And $25,000 more for picking it up. In the meantime, we're going to go on to round two. $25 space on the wheel, and we are looking for a thing. And there's Matt's puzzle for round two, and here we go. And Matt, as a reminder, the category is a thing. And it's 700 $700. How about an R? There are two R's. Two R's. That's a $1,400 start. And... Both R's are in the first word. Okay, so a $1,400 start. Spend it again. Alright. Yep. Oh, this could get interesting. It's twenty five hundred. Twenty five hundred dollars. Oh boy. All right, Matt. What letter would you like? Is there a T? There, are there no is no T. But you do have that free spin. Now, if I use it, is that gonna take away all that money that I got? Uh, if, no, we won't penalize you the bonus money if you use your free spin. Don't use it. Okay. It doesn't matter if I use it or not. True. So, so you know what? I think I'm, oh, well, unless I gotta spin it, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll go ahead and spin it. Well, I already hit spin, and it's 200 $200. How about an L? One L. We'll put that up there, and you have sixteen hundred. Okay, uh, I think I'm gonna buy a vowel. Which one? I. Oh. There is one I. One I. And we'll put that up there. And you're down to thirteen fifty. Uh-huh, there's one E. 
I mean, you have $1,100 left. You can buy another valve if you want. You can spin. You can solve. What do you want to do? I will uh, spin. All right. Do you have any idea what the first word could be, Matt? Not yet. But I'm gonna go for... $200. Maybe an M. Okay, now first of all, I'll tell you that you landed on 200 and you said you wanted an M, right? Yeah. There is one M. Well, we can give you one M. That should give you an idea for what the second word is. You have thirteen hundred. I think I'm gonna buy an A. There is one A. There's one A. So you're down to one thousand fifty. Spin it again. Good Hmm. Coming up to that 2500 again. Can we get it? Yes, we can. $2,500. All right. 2500 Matt. Is there an X? <laughs> there is one. Yeah, there's one X. So you're at 3550 now. And there's your X. What do you want to do? I'll buy an O. There are two. Well, this could help you. There are two O's in there. We'll show we'll show you where they are. There they are, and I don't think there are any vowels left in this puzzle. So I might as well spin. So, uh, I'll spin it. Yep. Well, not too bad of a spin. 900. $900. How about a B? There is one. Yeah, we can give you a B. So that will fill out the second word. 4,200 now. Spin again. Nice work. And... Okay, after studying the first word of this puzzle carefully, I can tell you that there are indeed no vowels left for this puzzle. Well, I still don't know this one. But I'll spin. Okay. And it is... 500. $500. Is there an N? Uh-huh, there's one N. Well, we're almost there. You have 4,700. Uh, you know what? I think I'll solve the puzzle. Alright. Corner mailbox. And that is correct. So that's another 4,700. And 5,250 so far for Matt. And plus the $35,000 in bonus money, which we'll add in there at the end of the game. But in the meantime, we'll move to our third round with a $3,500 space. And you're going to be trying to solve, we're looking for people this time. And a reminder that people does not always mean proper names. And oh boy, we have an El Cheapo puzzle this time. We'll start with player one. Five letters in the first word, four letters in the second word. Start. Of course. Ooh. 
This could be a pretty good start for you, though, for this round. 3,500. Yeah, we can give you one S, and it's worth $3,500. What do you think? Let's buy an E. There are two e's. Yeah, we've got a couple of these up there. Okay, thirty-two fifty left. No, there's no A. Well, I guess I might as well spin it then. Okay. They have $3,000 left. I will remind you of that. Contestant number one. It's your turn. <laughs> Ew. Whoopsie. Mikey, where are your manners? Down Kyle Bush's race car. <laughs> Good answer. <laughs> yeah. Mm, just missed the surprise, but five hundred should do. Is there a R? There no, no, there is not. Spin it again. It's your turn. Okay. Alrighty. And as the wheel's spinning, I want to remind everyone that today is Vanna White's birthday. Oh uh, yeah, I never realized. Yeah, so... Happy birthday, Vanna. 600. 600, Matt. Okay, is there, is there an L? There is one yeah, L's we do have, just one of them. Now you're at $3,600, and Matt, before you tell me what you want to do next, Mikey, go ahead and hit it with a birthday ditty for Vanna. Happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you, happy birthday, God bless you. Happy birthday to you. Well done, Mikey. All right. Now, Matt, you have 3600 What do you want to do next? Buy an I. There no, no, there's no I. Why don't I try an O? Okay. Seems like a, it's your turn. Seems like a good choice. And we do have some O's. We have two of them. There they are, and we have no vowels left, so it's either spin or solve. Oh, I know what it is. I'll spin it. Okay. And it is going to be three hundred. V. Three hundred dollars. There is one V. Yeah, we have a V. Thirty-four hundred now. I'm gonna solve it. Go ahead. Loved ones, you said, right? Yep, loved ones. That's it. And you even spelled it right, too, Mikey, when you guessed it. Yeah, I, I knew how to spell that one easily. Okay, well, good for you. And good for Matt on another 3400 for that round. So that's 8650 total in regular money. And now we'll move to round four, which has a $5,000 space on the wheel. The surprise is still out there, the trip is still out there, the jewelry is coming out there now as well. We're looking for a quotation this time. The 
Okay, and here we go. I'm going to have to wait for the puzzle to get back up, though, so I can put the last word in. So I can type in the last. And it is going to be 350. $350. Okay, now. Uh, let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 letters. Okay, so let's get those typed in. Oh, oops. There we are. And again, Matt, the category is a quotation. What letter do you want to start with for this one? A T. Okay. There are two. Well, we can give you two T's. Okay. And let me just see where the other one is. There we are. $700 to start with. I'm going to spin again. All right. Good job. Now, I will tell you, this could go into speed up during this fourth round. It doesn't necessarily mean that it will, of course. Oh, and Matt, I think this spin's going to make you very happy because it's $5,000. Oh, my gosh. Okay. What letter? An R. There is one R. And in a whole mess of letters, there's only one R. It's a $5,000 R, though, and you have 5700 I'll spin again. All right. The category is quotation, right? Yep, yeah, quotation. I'll spin again. Yeah, I heard it. And let's see. Uh, no trip. Well, we went from the highest value on the wheel to the lowest one on there, 200. How about an H? How about an H? There's one. Makes sense, since we know that worth the. Mm-hmm. 5,900, Matt. I like to buy the E. There are three. Well, there are three E's. That's a good buy. Nice job. Okay, let's get the E and the E's in there. And let's get the other one in there. There we go. That takes you down to 5650. What do you think? Let me buy an A. There are two A's. And we have some A's. I think the uh, over the over the there we go. 5,400 left. I'll spin again. Very well. Be right back. The phone's ringing. Hey, Amber. Not much. What's... Okay, is this spin going to count? Yes, it will. It's another two hundred. Two hundred dollars. How about an L? There is one L. We can give you one L. Fifty-six hundred now. Spin again. All right. Okay, this is coming up to the $5,000, but will it make it there? Not quite, 500 Okay, 500 A V. There is one 
one. Yeah, there's a V, so you're up to 6,100. I'm gonna buy an O. Alright. There is one O. One O. And that one O will complete the third word. 58.50 left. Buy an I. There is one and we have an I. 5,600 left. Now, I'm not sure if there are vowels left in this puzzle or not. But I'm going to spin anyway. Okay. Can get a good one. I hope so too. Certainly like to get you one of the wedges if possible. Speaking of which, oh, never mind. We it, it went just past 250. Hmm. How about a There is one yeah, there's one N. There and there is still a vowel left. And I think I'm going to buy the U then. There is well, that one makes sense. There's one U. And that's it for the vowels. It's either spin or solve now. I'll spin. All right. see. Well, I was talking about trying to get you one of the wedges earlier, and you have a chance to pick up a surprise. But we need the letter first. How about a uh, C? You can pick up the surprise because there are three C's. Wow. Now, if you solve the puzzle without hitting you know what in the process, then you will win that surprise. Now you have that as well as fifty-six hundred dollars in cash. What would you like to do? I'll spin. Very well then. And it is five hundred. Five hundred. J. And we have two J's, so that takes you to sixty six hundred. What do you think? Alrighty. Okay, Mikey. Hmm. Five hundred. And there's some K's, two of them in fact. So that'll take you to 7,600, and you also have the surprise. What do you think? I like to solve the puzzle. All right. Jump over the candlestick. That is correct. So, Jack, jump over the candlestick is the answer. So, Matt, you want $7,600 in cash that round. Oh, but we have a surprise to go with it. Let's see what it is. His and her watches. Not too bad. 
and those watches are worth 2000 so Matt, that round was worth $9,600 to you, and you're going to be taking $18,250 in regular money with you into the bonus round. Alright. So, what letter would you like to pick? Bonus round. The W. Alrighty. <clears throat> Let's hope it's a good prize in there. Well, whatever's in there, let's hope it's a prize that you win. But first, we have to concentrate on the puzzle. And it's a phrase that you're trying to solve. Now, first we're going to show you the R, S, T, L, N, and E. Okay. Okay. Alright, let's get those in there. And I wait your three consonants and one vowel. Yeah. That's one. C. That's two. H. And the vowel? An A. Okay, looks like you're going to have a good chance at this. Let's put the letters in. There we go. Cross my heart. Yeah, that is it. And hope to die, which is exactly what Dr. Necrophilia needs to do, right, Mikey? Let's see what you have won. Oh, yeah. Anyway, Matt, let's see what your prize is. It's a, a $20,000 savings bond. Awesome. So that's a total of $38,250, plus the bonus money for the free spin, $10,000 for landing on it, $25,000 for picking it up. That's $35,000 in bonus cash for that. So when we add all that in, Matt, you're taking home $73,250 with you from this game. Awesome. Uh, very much so. And that will do it for the birthday special for Matt for sure. I'll see you for another video soon. Bye.